The Red Cross has a long history of responding to disasters anywhere. Well, this COVID-19 crisis is just about everywhere. And now there are questions about the Red Cross response. In California, a warehouse worker showed the Stockton Reporter newspaper boxes of more than 50,000 medical masks that the Red Cross stashed a few years ago. But the paper reports that the Stockton Red Cross said it will not distribute them now, opting to hold on to them in case they're needed for emergency shelters in the future. Okay, so I traded emails and phone calls with the Northwest Red Cross, and they're still not telling me how many masks they have. The local Red Cross, which serves Washington and Idaho, will only say it has a limited stockpile of personal protective equipment. It wouldn't tell us the specific number of medical masks. The executive director said these supplies are needed to protect our disaster responders in the event that emergency shelters need to be opened. It's the most um, difficult item to source right now and absolutely critical um, to the safety of our members when they're on the front line. Mark Auerbach is from the International Food and Commercial Workers Union, which represents 17,000 healthcare workers in Washington. I don't really feel comfortable weighing in on the Red Cross, but what I will say is this, um, we've been working at every level um, leaving no stone unturned to try to get the equipment that frontline healthcare workers and first responders need. And that's why healthcare unions have launched this website, SupplieSaveLives.org. It's accepting donations of personal protective equipment and getting them into the hands of healthcare workers now. I'm Chris Ingalls, King 5 News.